Uh, hear me, beast, you foul spawn of wickedness. I will no longer allow you to terrorize this town. Yeah! Yeah! I'm Hugo Stanton, the mayor of this town. We will not bring a sacrifice this year, nor ever again. Do you hear me, beast? Your reign of terror is... Steady, men, steady! We can't back down now. Are we headed? Uh, I'm not sure. Fold! Reload quickly! Reload! You had it reload! It's conversation. And the most important part of conversation is... Listening! Listening! I was listening. listening! Listening! Correct. However, we must learn to listen to each other the right way. If you go into a conversation incorrectly perceiving your partner's intent, well, things will go bad, let me tell you. For example, Boy, this guy your husband job. comes home and yeah. says, What's for dinner, yeah. honey? You reply with meatloaf. Then he responds, oh, Good, that's so much better than Woo. You may think to yourself, is he comparing my dinner to fast food? Stop right there! <laughs> Don't jump to conclusions. The thing to remember is that for a relationship to work, you both have to work at it. You gotta give more than you take. All right, well. Ah, right, well that just about wraps things up. Uh, any questions? Thank you so much, Dr. Dorothy. Oh, thank you. I thank thought you were supposed to be asleep. Oh, uh, yeah. Over here, I have no. a question about something. Ah, yes, sir. You over there. Oh, please don't say anything stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you know, on the on the topic of conversation, uh, what do you do when your wife says something really, you know, stupid? You know, saying something like the sun revolves around the earth when the kids ask, you know? Mm. Something like that. You know what I mean? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Do you understand my question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you just you don't want to embarrass her, but you also don't want your kids to grow up to be idiots thinking the wrong thing. So, you know, I really just want to know, in your professional opinion, <laughs> uh, what I should do in that situation. He doesn't want to embarrass her. It's a little late. Oh, yeah, sir, I agree. I'd really like to know what's going on. You see all your other stuff? I mean, it didn't make any sense and it was confusing and boring. But I won't believe you're a quack if, you know, you can explain this to us. It's a problem common to all men. Yeah, I mean, this is actually interesting. You really... We paid. I'm pretty sure... Did we pay? Yeah, we paid money to you to tell us all this stuff, so... Start talking. Uh, well, uh... uh um... <clears throat> Well, uh, uh, let me give you a little bit of advice. Huh? Don't do stupid 
things and you won't find yourself in these like situations. Yeah. <laughs> You're one to talk, mister. You know, you're pretty lucky. See, these are our last two rooms. So is it always this crowded? <laughs> nope. See, they're all here because of the story and the spook fest. See, the Sawmill Lodge is recognized as the largest hot spot for paranormal activity in the UBK. Yeah, I think I've seen you all on television before. So, do you really have ghosts here? Who knows? But apparently one of the guests saw a ghostly apparition last night. You know what but the weirdest part about it is? It was reported that the ghost called the names of the guests. He knew their names. Well, if you want to learn more and talk to the guy, uh, he's over at the Sawmill Grill. What was his name? Bart. Bart. It was Bart. Well, anyway, if you're looking for something to do, I recommend checking out the Sawmill Paranormal Museum. All the paranormal activity that's happened in Sawmill over the past 100 years has been cataloged there. <laughs> now I just gotta find someone to keep you safe. <laughs> here, stay here. It's okay. It's safe. It's safe. I mean, I'll, I'll be back. I promise. Hey, Martin, you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Give me a second. And you know what? It's not just that. He's done things like this before. He's so inconsiderate. It's like that stunt he pulled at the seminar. I mean, what kind of idiot is he? He makes me look like a ditz. Pinky, this trip has only made our marriages worse, if that's possible. Maybe for now it's best just to give Coco some space. Oh, what an idiot. I don't even know why I married him. Midnight, what is it? Something's not right. It's probably nothing. Midnight, I think I've known you long enough to know when it is something. I just have this on the ease. I don't know. I feel like I've felt it before. Like, and Del Masano. That's not possible. Look, Midnight, just come away from the window and think about something else. There I was, in my birthday suit. Suddenly I felt a cold draft blow past. You really feel these things when you're in the nude. I turned and behold, there it was. Before me stood a ghastly apparition. Oh, I still remember it very well. and hope to die. Well, what happened next? Well... But... But... <gasps> so, 
What happened next? Oh, actually, that's it. That's the end. That's all that happened. Oh, oh man. You'd all better head home soon. Things can get strange after midnight. We're also closing shop soon, so clear out. Yeah, yeah. like that apparition that appeared to me. That was strange. Yeah, let's get going, guys. There's only one bed. Mm, that's a big bed. It, it might even fit us all if we were midgets. With children. Maybe pygmies. <laughs> that bed's mine! <laughs> hey, you can't just take the- oh, yeah. Sorry, everyone. Yeah. It's mine! You guys can't have it! Bed is mine! No, you yeah. This is my bed! Here, scoot over. Yeah. Ah. Sure not sleeping with any of you guys. Oh, come on. Yeah. 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 oh come on, BK. Where are the rest of us gonna sleep on the floor? Yes. Huh. Come on, guys. There's three of us and only one of him. And he's little. We could take him. If anyone's gonna be sleeping on the floor, it's gonna be you. <laughs> How did we lose? That, that doesn't make any sense. Speak, hey. And now we're all here shivering under this stinking toilet paper quilt. But at least I know how to make a toilet paper quilt. We could be sitting here shivering under nothing. Iman, Iman, wake up. I'm asleep. It's me, wake up. Who? Treach, wake up, I'm being taken away. Why? I'm asleep. Oh, wake up. Your van's being stolen. Oh, it's not. It's I'm not being stolen you. in your van. What? Uh, here, look at this. What? You see that? Look. That's me. Look. See this? What? That's your van. What? Do you understand now? No. Get up and save me, okay? No. The breakfast time. Uh. Ah, what is it? <laughs> BA, BA, I've come for you. What? BA? Who's that? BA, your time is up. BA, you mean like bad? Stupid shadow must have got the wrong room. <laughs> 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 This way, this is the door out. That's the bathroom. It's Never mind. Way. Turn around. <coughs> I was huge and I was black and just drummed that my whole way like it was nothing. It was weightless. It was it was awful. This is pretty interesting. Uh, no. But my, my hold up. It's gone, Emily. I know that. It's gone. Did you lock it? No. Well, my hold up. It's gone, Emily. Come on. Hmm? What happened? Ah! What were you doing when it's such creepy clothes? Come on. These are my pajamas. But you look scary in pajamas. <laughs> Darling, you forgot to lock the Mahoda and now it's been stolen. You need to remember to lock these things. How are we supposed to get home now? Uh, actually, they said it was drug away on its side, so. Thank even you. Even if we had locked it. Thank you so much. Thank you. There has to be the sawmill terror. It can't be anything else. Yeah, you're right. No ghost or goblin could have done this. <laughs> Good. And here I was worried this place was a fake. <laughs> Shh. 
<laughs> the track seriously in here. Uh, something weird's going on, guys. What? This isn't possible. I mean, it just disappeared. Give us back our beholder, you stupid forest. <sighs> You know, if we get some axes, we could level this place in no time. Oh! oh my. Good! So, let's make this thinking for us. Give me the Mahoda back. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, that's right. Let's burn this place to the ground. Oh, 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 oh broken! And one, let's not all go to prison just yet. Whatever did this was heavy. Very heavy. Colleen, will you do us a favor and take these goons to the paranormal museum? <laughs> Maybe they can keep out of trouble there. <laughs> I'm not a goon, am I? Don't worry, Colleen. We'll take your raving lumberjack with us. Wait, I'm not a goon, am I? Oh, Coco, you're such a goon. Well, wait, why do I have to go with them? <sighs> Woman, there's just some things that a man's pride will let him back down on. Whatever it was, the tracks are totally gone. There's no way we can check it now. What is your problem? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, why are you just beating stuff with sticks? Uh, don't tell me you never got an urge to just suddenly beat something with a stick. You know, it's like, yeah, it's what guys like to do. This is ridiculous. Beat stuff with sticks. It's impossible for the motorhome to even have come this way. Let's get out of here. You're right, I don't want to run into whatever left those tracks. Let's get out of here. Ow! That hurts! What an interesting photograph. Hmm. But it's kind of blurry. Whoever took it must have been an idiot. Hey buddy, you better rethink that idiot thought. Huh? That's a painting, not a photo. It's a painting? Yeah. Well, still, it's blurry. I could do better with a crayon. No, a piece of chalk. No. A piece of charcoal. Yeah. This is stupid. Why can't we just go get my, my hold? I don't want to hang on this stinking old museum. Look at more, it's just a stupid van. I'm more worried about what took it off. In the middle of the night, you know? Aren't you the least bit worried the whole motorhome disappeared? <laughs> Who cares? We just gotta make sure that whoever did it pays for what they did. <laughs> That's right, they're gonna pay, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so true, bro. <laughs> what would you two even do if you found it? You're afraid of your own shadows. What? Silence, woman! Hey everybody, look at this! Very few details have been gathered on the creature, known as the terror. However, it is the most unique of all the entities haunting this area. Oh, the terror first appeared in Sawmill in the 1700s. The terror is the only one known of its kind, and rumored to lurk in the forest to this very day! Huh? My dog's tougher than any old thing. It says the terror is a very elusive beast, so not many people have seen it, but it has one defining habit. It comes out every October 31st to claim a victim. Guys, you know this is all fake, right? But wait, it says up there, although it's never been proven, the disappearances of many Sawville visitors have been linked to the terror. What is this interactive reading? Oh, listen to this. The terror has no clearly defined body shape since mm. photos taken of it are very unclear. Mm. But it's said to be 12 to 15 feet tall. Coal black with copper reptilian eyes. You don't think this guy should be real, do you? Of course not. Sounds like it was written by a third grader. I mean, who would come up with stuff like this? Let's go see if we're going to eat somewhere. Yeah, you're right. But the restaurant's got lots of meat. Yeah. 
Looks like we ended up staying here during some sort of celebration. What's a spook fest? Oh, the spook fest, Harry. Hey? That's Sawmill's biggest celebration of the year. See, that's when paranormal activity really ramps up around here. Um, so what exactly is this spook thing? The spook fest is the day when the ghosts, goblins, zombies, whatever you can think of, come out to show themselves. Really? I'm sorry, sir, but we're all adults here. Do you really expect us to believe all this supernatural mumbo jumbo? Well, some of us are adults. Shut up, Slowpoke. You're just as much of a child as she is. Hey. <laughs> well, you'll see soon enough. <laughs> they all <gasps> That's it. This is the last time I'm letting M1 of all people pick a hotel stop. This is all kind of sounding strange. Yeah, really, I mean, what can we say? Even the guy who founded this place was strange. Hugo Stanton founded of Sawmill. Founded in 1890, Sawmill was settled for use in the lumber industry. Mr. Stanton claimed to have discovered the Sawmill town already constructed. Not long after settling, Mr. Stanton discovered that Sawmill was infested with supernatural entities. It was rumored that Mr. Stanton was able to absorb some of the area's energy and use it to become immortal. This was believed to be true since Stanton showed no signs of aging for over 50 years. It was then in 1940 that he mysteriously disappeared, never to be seen again. Although mystery shrouds Mr. Stanton's existence, he was the main driving force behind the sawmill's development into the tourist hub it is today. Mm. Sounds like the cheese was slipping from his cracker. Some of his screws were loose. Yeah, some of his marbles rolled away. Yeah, we get it. He was nuts. However, that's not the point. The point is, someone stole a moon. And what are we going to do about it? Tonight? It is a special night, everyone. It is a night where the supernatural world and this world collide. The things you see here tonight, they're not fake. They are real and they are dangerous. For protection against evil, we suggest that you visit our shops. They are stocked with an ample supply of evil repellent. Now, without further ado, let the spook fest begin.
true story. Yeah, what? Right, put it out. Well, are you gonna help too? What do you want me to go blow it out with a straw? Dear, it's best to leave these things to professionals. So you two are saying that you just get in the way because you would be in over your head. <laughs> what did that woman really just insult us? Let's go show them how it does. Got to show them. Oh, let's go. It's okay now, okay? I'm here. Oh. Now, Colleen, I, I mean, I understand that you're scared, but anything that you could tell us could help. Oh. Now, look here, little missy. Just tell us what happened, okay? Colleen, Pink Rat is missing. What was that thing? Uh, it, it spoke! What? That thing was intelligent.
Only one left? Or is it because of that horde of zombies over there? Ugh, quick, remember my horror movie training. What do you do when that's a zombie? I know. Wait, you'll still eat me if I'm dead, right? Stick. Here's the zombie apocalypse. What do you mean? What's going on here? The more important thing is who you are, Mr. Hugo Stanton. I never thought it would end this way. Zombies taking over. Me the only one left. It's no surprise they got him one. He's helpless. I just can't believe I lasted. No, there's someone even a zombie would need. Uh. Bring me food, you maggots. I'm the king. Uh, he'd probably become a zombie king. I guess I should rig some bombs to my car and drive it into his hive. At least I'll go down in a flame of glory. Wait! Oh, but no, no man's still alive! No, I'll bleed him last! I'll bleed you 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 I'm talking to you. What did it say? Hey, hey, that's enough there. Are you challenging me? What? What? Help me out of here! We came. You're alive. I wouldn't have thought they'd eat you. Eat me? What's going on? After Pink Rat was taken, the whole town went crazy. Now everyone's gone. Uh, the zombies must have taken them. Zombies got Pink Rat! Which way did they go? Tell me, tell me, tell me! Well, they went that way out into those spooky woods. <laughs> Wait, BK, where are you going? To find my wife! <laughs> into the woods, hey? everyone, I'm thinking of peaceful thoughts like flowers and, and bunnies and cartoon dogs! Let's not all freak out just yet. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. The important thing is that that thing is still out there. And we know it's dangerous. It took that woman and it nearly killed that kid. Oh, it must mean Coco. We need a plan so we can protect ourselves from these monsters. Pink Rat! Oh, boy, I'm glad I found you. Just think if we had to spend the whole apocalypse alone. But now, we have buddies. <laughs> Look, tell you what. You search that way, that way, got it, mm-hmm. And I'm gonna go that way, okay? We can cover more ground, okay? Okay, okay you okay. got that? So let's go. Yeah, well, 
Stay safe, BK. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yeah, right. If this is the apocalypse, M2's the last person I want to spend it with. Pink Rat, where are you? Pink Rat, where are you? Ah, oh, doll, you scared me. Wait, are you a zombie? It eat my brains. No, my brain. Look, you need to come back. This is no place for you at night. Says you, a damsel wandering the haunted forests alone. How'd you even find me? You fall down about every ten paces. It's pretty easy to track you. Eh. Look, darling, are you coming back with me or not? Go oh, back to what? It's all gone. And anyways, I'm helping Cheek find Pink Rat. Look, it's dangerous. I'll hear no more. Just don't get yourself killed. You Maybe a rotten father, but you're the only one our boys have got. <laughs> Is that a compliment, dog? <laughs> Ow! you <laughs> are! <laughs> <laughs> Albert, the truck driver. Thanks, Albert. I remember you from last year's Halloween experience. Hopefully this one will go better than last time. <laughs> and, uh, what's your name? Yeah, my name's Morrison. came in earlier, you tripped on the rug and hit your head. But you won't talk you. So then I put you in that bed. No, and you're not tied down. I'm not sure what made you think that. Oh, my head. Oh, my head. You, you made some rather interesting comments earlier. Why don't you explain yourself? <laughs> You mean a witness circle? See, we can't just sit here, they're already coming. Stinking zombies! Get someone, give me a skillet, and I'll bring the lot of them! We got better than skillets here. Maybe these will help us even the odds. Try this on for sale, young lady. A machine gun? Where did you get that? Right! Get a gun, everybody! Oh, I dropped mine. Sorry. I don't know. I never have a weapon. I've heard they're really dangerous.
we like wipe them out. That's right. And now we go and bring the fight to them and we make this town safe once again. Come on, everybody. Let's go and wipe the rest of them out. So why are you so interested in me? Something really important was stolen from me. Maybe I'm just looking for someone to blame. Mm. So he took somebody you cared about, didn't he? Uh, no, actually he took Mama Holder. But I, I thought he kidnapped that woman. Wait, you're saying that thing that kidnapped Pink Rat took Mama Holder too? You're hunting that thing down just because it took your van. Oh, well, if Pink Rat's there, I mean, I'll take both of them back. I'll take Pink Rat and I'll take Mama Holder. Especially Mama Holder. So Stan started talking. That thing in the museum. It said that you were alive during the 18 million or whatever. I just want to know one thing. How are you still alive? <laughs> Fine then. But first, you need to throw any perceptions about what you think you know in this world out the window. Because what I'm about to tell you, you probably won't believe. Come on everybody, let's find them, skin them alive, and hang their guts in trees. Chipper, is this okay? I mean... We're acting like terrorists. Let's exterminate their whole family! Don't leave even a child alive! Colin, we're not being terrorists. This is perfectly logical. They stole Pink Rat, and now they're gonna pay. The Sawmill Terror, as they call it in the Paranormal Museum, is real. And he's an ancient creature, powerful, wise, his tough skin makes him nearly invincible, and he's immortal. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is, this is ridiculous. Wait, huh? open mind. Didn't I tell you you need an open mind? Yes. His real name is Mortis, and in 1890, I tried to put a stop to his evil. 1890. Hmm. Wait a minute! Mortis is indeed a rare life form. He can extend his own life by stealing it from others. So every year, as long as I can remember, this town bring a sacrifice to Mortis. This was to ensure he wouldn't just take whoever he wanted. We had to choose who to give up every year. I couldn't stand it. So when I became mayor, I decided to put a stop to it. So I gathered the entire village. We decided to destroy Mortis once and for all. But he was ready for us. He wiped out the whole group of people who came up against him. Only I remained. I thought it was over. And then, Morda spoke to me. What did he say? <laughs> Just as predicted, Hugo Stanton. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not going to kill you. I have much bigger things. Like I'd do anything for you, you twisted monster! I'd rather die! If you refuse, you won't be the one dying, Hugo. Huh? This is what you'll do, Hugo. You will grow this town into a large, bustling tourist place. Every year, on the 31st of October, I will hunt and claim my prey. What? Because your sweet little wife will be staying with me. If you don't comply, who knows what could happen? Anastasia! No! What? What have you done with her? Do your job and you'll find out, Stanton. He still lets me see her. Once every year, for a little while. But wait a minute, did this happen like in 18 whatever? It's like, wouldn't that make you like 300 years old? You got quite some math skills, well, don't thanks, you? Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Mortis uses his life lengthening powers on me and Anastasia to keep us alive as his slaves. And you agreed to sacrifice people to this guy? That's twisted! I had no choice, he had my wife. <laughs> well, why can't this Mortis just hunt wherever he wants? Why does he need you? There are some things even monsters are afraid of. <laughs> I 
those stinking zombies. I can't believe him two was right. Now I wish I would have watched those horror movies with the Muppets. At least I know what to do. And on top of that, there's people running around with guns. Got away, did he? Looks like we scared them all off. Ah, you're a pretty good shot, you know. Ah, <laughs> you done this sort of thing before? <laughs> you mean fought an army of zombies before? No. But handling a gun, that's a different story. Yeah. Take the Webkins and scout the other side of town. The rest of us will keep searching here. Sure thing. We need to search the woods. Move out. Come on, look lively, everybody. Hey, Chipper, wait! Huh? We're gonna need you to be staying here with us. Huh? Huh? Okay. Why are we in a graveyard? Peace, peace, huh? everyone! Everything will be a okay! Apart! We've been shooting things! I mean, we stand for peace! How could we live with ourselves? Yeah. Zombies are dead. Look, I'm sure we'll find a way to live with ourselves, especially since we'll be alive. <gasps> where? Where is it? Oh, I, I thought it was awesome. <laughs> BK, are you ready to take back what was stolen? You know where Pink Rat is? Yeah, let's go. Hey, Mon, do you really believe that? I mean, that's a lot to swallow. Look, let's just say I got more reason to believe him than anyone else would. The place we're headed is called Mortis Mom. With any luck, Pink Rat will be there. I'm gonna destroy whoever took her. <laughs> Yes, come on everybody, get up! We may now resume normal breathing techniques. What is this? What? These are all fake! Uh, uh, yeah, these bones here say they're made in Cheapo Mart. That isn't normal, is it? Of course it's not normal! I mean, bones just don't go around having store names written on them! Something's going on. Oh, where is that heavy cliff? Hi. Oh. 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 So, ah! are you in need of any assistance? The spirits must be playing a trick on us or something. You okay, Barry? These ain't spirits. Come to think of it, everything in this town has been strained from the start. Oh, you mean like that zombie invasion and that stupid Morrison fellow who just happens to show up with a load of guns? Ah! Oh man, they're back. Where's my gun? Wait. Where's it? In the hole? Wait. Wait! Don't, don't shoot! Chicken. Wait, where are the chickens? What? No, that's just a expression. They're 
Maui. Well, I believe when some sort of dream. It doesn't feel like a dream. I feel like I was conked on the head. Drug to this. Please. Well, it's a dream. That's how you're supposed to feel. Nothing gets by you, does it? No. Wait, what? Hello? Pinky it for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yo? <laughs> I told you they all find out, didn't I? I mean, um. Wait, so the spirits aren't real? They just said the whole thing was a setup. This thing's like an undercover horror attraction. It's okay, everyone. I solved the mystery. This whole place is a sham. What? So, it's all been revealed. Well, listen, you better release Pink Rat. I mean, poor Coco, he's probably had a heart attack by now. Uh, wait, now what I've been trying to say is we didn't kidnap anybody. Something really strange is going on here. In other words, your friend really is missing. Consider yourselves all fortunate. Soon your insignificant life forces will be assimilated into mine. I will live on for eternity. Ah, it, it speaks! Yeah. Mm. Ha! Who little boy are you, dirtbag? You don't look so tough. I've seen tougher in preschool. Worm, I have walked this planet since the second beginning. You do not know to whom you speak. <laughs> it matters not. Your time is up. For you are in Mortis Lair. That's it. Everybody drop your guns. We need to go back to town and regroup with everyone else. I don't want anyone shooting anybody. Huh, okay. Man, overall this has been very unpeaceful. Wait, where's Colleen? <laughs> yeah! Listen here, beastie! I've caught your collaborator! Call me, you creep! Come out and play. I think you'll get messy. <laughs> Whoa. I have a bad feeling about this. Are you okay with going along with this? I mean... Stay down, you rat. Can't you see this is crazy? This is like newsworthy crazy. What are you doing? What are you going to do about it? Maybe more than you think. You can't get away with this. <sighs> oh, that's a long walk. <sighs> now, who shall go first? Well, Pink Red Day, you were the first one to get here, so... Mr. Piece of Trash! Well, if it isn't that child I knocked out earlier, we'll be back for a rematch. <sighs> this whole time you've been sacrificing people to this monster just so that you and your wife can live? How do you even live with yourself, man? 
under the circumstances, I'm sure you would have done the same thing. Whatever, just tell me where he is, so I can mess him up. I told you, he can't be beaten. Blah, blah, blah. Don't trouble me with your opinion. Fine, I'll tell you where he is. Now have I lived with myself. What are you doing with my wife? <laughs> Think about it, Bob. Why didn't that monster take this woman too when she kidnapped that pink rat? Wow, well, you got a point there. I, I you got me kind of. Oh, Paul! <laughs> She's working with the monster. What? That's ridiculous, you creep. Everybody be quiet, unless you want a gut full of lead. The beast will come to save her. And when it does, I'll be taking its head. Well, but wait, that's my wife. Good sir, your name. Morrison, is it not? Well, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Morrison. You wouldn't happen to be THE Morrison from the TV show Monster Hunters, would you? Wait, you watch my show? Yeah, we all loved it, until we found out that the star was a bloodthirsty psychopathic kidnapper moron! Yeah! Oh, moron. Uh, mock me, will ya? Uh, <laughs> I will become the greatest monster hunter ever! Men, don't let any of them escape. And have them squealing to the authorities. <sighs> Come on, move. Get over there. Um, now is the time. Huh? We can't let this sad TV man continue his evil way. Yeah. You know, you're right. He's a sad TV man. Good. Turn your positions, everyone. Go, stop her. Save Colleen. She needs you. That was a really dumb thing to do. Don't worry, sir. I'm turning myself in. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not a troublemaker. You do realize you're gonna eat us, right? What? Colleen? Colleen? Are you here? We rescue you. That creepo that. <laughs> Time's up, Mortis. I'm not playing along anymore. Hurry, get out! You know, you sure it's safe? Just get out before he comes back. Okay, okay, I'm going. Yeah. All right, everyone. Here it comes. Take this chance and head back to your car. Be careful. <gasps> Where is she? Where's Colleen? Where are you done with her? Uh. Uh. 
Down, little man. I won't let you ruin anything. Come on, this way, miss. Stop it right now, everyone. I've got a gun. Behold the hour of your tomb. Behold the tower of Babel. Alright, men, make sure the rest of them are gone and stuff. Ah. Ah. Everybody out this way, file out alphabetically according to your age and gender. Coco, please get up. I, I can't move you. I need you, Coco. Oh no, the whole front of the building's on fire. We can't reach them anymore. <laughs> You have a princess to rescue. Let's not spoil this rescue with details. Colleen, uh, I'm here to save you. Uh. No! Oh, no! He's still coming! No, I know! You don't have to rub it in. I mean, he's. I know he's coming! Why can't I that just... It was a special case. I couldn't have you die back then. This fight is different. You have to earn the right to my power. Yeah, what a stupid hockey stick. I just better make it through this, I'll, I'll sue you. I'll sue you. I don't know. I'll sue you whatever you want. I don't know. I have no idea what you're holding, mortal. I'm pretty sure I got a good idea of what it is. Treat! Treat! Why won't you answer me? Treat! 
Come on, everybody, let's go! Hugo! Do you feel it? Do you feel it, Anastasia? Yes, I feel it too. Hugo, we're finally free. Of a motorhome, too. Hello, we're here. Hello, can you see us? Hello. Oh, Slowpoke, you were so brave. Oh, really? Dear, I realize sometimes I say really dumb things that that embarrass you, and I, I, I'm sorry. I I love you. Oh, Slowpoke, I love you too. Did you look at this scratch. It's huge. One. That was very irresponsible, leaving us like that. Emma, really are you ignoring me? You sue him. I don't care if he's my brother or not. I'm basically a hero. I saved him, Hauser. And oh yeah, there was Pink Rat. I saved her and saved him one and everybody else and single-handedly drug me, hate safety. And you know, I mean, 
You getting all this? Do you think I'm a cool deer? I'm a cool deer. Yes, dear, I'm sure you are wonderful. Wait a minute, dear! Are you sure? Did, did him to really save me? Oh, yes, dear. He was so heroic. He carried you all the way to the car. No! That's impossible! Oh, but it's true, Coco. It's true. <laughs> Or I would have done it too if it weren't for those meddling kids. Is that supposed to be a Scooby Doo reference? No way. Voila! Hello, everybody. I'm back here to save you. It's a good thing I got here before nothing bad happened. D, shut up. You abandoned everyone. If I hadn't squeezed the truth out of you, the police wouldn't have come. Bye.